We're going to Premiere and we're doing motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. So I normally tell people don't do motion graphics in Premiere Pro, do them in After Effects. However, I do get quite a few requests on doing some motion graphic work here in Premiere Pro. So in this video, we're gonna break down four different techniques that go into putting together, say, one useful you know, title graphic here in Premiere. So if you're interested in creating cool graphics in Premiere Pro without having to leave the software, this tutorial is for you. So please drop a like on this video and let's get started. So this is a title animation full with several motion graphic techniques that I created in Adobe After Effects. My goal here is to create this in Premiere Pro and see what is possible and teach these techniques to you. So the very first technique we're gonna go through is the overall box design, how to animate this. So to create a shape, one of the things you can do is come here to the new item icon down here and click on a color mat. And here you can select your color. I'm gonna select any color and I'm gonna click on continue. So once your color mat is created, you can bring it into your timeline and it's just gonna simply be a full screen background. So what we wanna do is click our layer here, go to our effects controls, and we can scale this down. And since I wanna make this a little bit custom, I can uncheck uniform scale and I can adjust the height and the width independently uh, from each other. All right, so then if I wanna animate this, I can use the scale and height here to animate it, but one thing I like to do in Premiere Pro when animating graphics is actually go to the effects panel uh, and we're gonna type in transform here. And we're gonna grab this effect and we're gonna bring it into our effects controls. And the reason why I like using the transform effect to animate basic graphics is for the uh, motion blur ability. So what I can do is uncheck uh, use compositions uh, shutter angle and we can set our shutter angle to 180 degrees. And this is gonna create a motion blur for any animated graphics that we put together. So I'll come here to begin of our timeline and I can check on uniform scale and I can add a keyframe for scale. I can move this keyframe forward in time so we can move it to a second and then we can set the scale down to a zero. We'll select both keyframes, right click and you go to uh, Bezier. So now you can have an animation like this. So one thing I wanna do is colorize this uh, with a gradient. So what we can do is open up our video effects, we go to generate and there's an effect called ramp. We can bring this into our effects controls uh, and from here we can change the shade of our background. So I'll just select a very dark gray for our starter color and for the end of color, I'll select a darker color than the starter color. And that's great. And then one thing we'll do is we'll increase the ramp scatter to max. So now we have a shape animating here inside of Premiere Pro. So now that our box is done, we can now move on to the next technique, which is obviously typing out title. So we created the box so we can put a title on top of it. So we'll grab the text tool here and we can just simply just type out a title. And in the effects controls, you can come here and you can change your font. So I like using uh, Monstera and I like variating between bold and black. So for like any main titles, you know, I like this to make sure it's in the black font. And then you can increase the title to help make it bigger. So what we can do to center our title is to select it with, you know, all the characters selected, go to uh, graphics, go to a line and you click on uh, vertical center. And then you can go back there and do a horizontal center. That way our title will be completely centered. And also you can do this for your background as well. Before we move on, if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work, we have thousands of templates for Premiere Pro to help you save time. This is our 100 title pack, which allows us to preview and import titles from the Motion Duck extension. From here, we can quickly update our template, and now we have a full title graphic complete within under a minute. You can check out every template we have with the links below. All right, so now we wanna animate our title and we have some extra titles in here that I added on real quick. However, there isn't a great way to do individual character animation. Usually everything has to be animated as a whole in Premiere Pro. Uh, so what we can do here to do that is we simply can come here to our motion. Uh, we can just add a keyframe for scale. We can move that forward in time by a second and bring it down to zero. One thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your title layers are offsetted in time by also a second. This way we can have the box animate on and then we can have our title animate on. Uh, but with our keyframe selected, you know, we can right click and do a Bezier animation. This way it'll give it a little bit of speed dimension in our animation. Now, if we want to animate a little bit differently, for example, say we, we want to have these titles slide on, but only be revealed in by the box. So what I can do is open up the vector motion, add a keyframe for position. I'll move that forward in time. And then I can bring the Y value above the box here. Then I'm gonna come here to the opacity window and I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I can draw out a mask on top of our box here, just like so, close it up. So now what happens is once I move forward in time, that title will simply drop in just like so. And then as before, we can right click and uh, set this to a Bezier. And then we can do that to the bottom 
uh, title as well. So now here's what we have with our titles and our box animating here together. So the next technique I want to talk about is animating in some lines here uh, to help separate our titles from each other. So there's two ways that we can create line animations here in Premiere Pro. I'm going to do it first with the matte technique. So I'll come here and create a color matte. And this time I'll set it to white and I'll bring that new layer into our timeline. So as before, we can open this up and come here to uncheck uniform scale and bring down the height to be like paper thin. So maybe we'll set it to like one and then we come here to scale width and bring that in as well. And then we can set this to be between our titles and I'll set the scale height to actually 0.5 to make that a little skinnier. All right, awesome. So to animate this, what we can do is once again, grab the transform effect, bring this in here. We'll come here to the first second of this animation and we'll add a keyframe for the scale width and we'll bring that forward in time and then set the scale width to zero. And then as before, right click Bezier. And now we have an animated line here and then we can just duplicate it by holding down Alt on our keyboard, click and drag it up. So we'll have duplicates and then you can bring down the Y value of the duplicate. So now we'll have our line animations in here and that looks great. All right, so now I'd like to create somewhat of a border on the outside of our shape here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and duplicate the lines again, one of the lines at least, and we'll bring it above our, you know, of our work here, and we can increase the scale height this time. And we'll set it to three. And we can increase the scale width to be a little bit longer. And this is where you're welcome to continue to duplicate this and, you know, bring it underneath everything. And to create the size, we'll duplicate once again. This time around, you're going to set the rotation to 90 points. And you have to just reposition where this is supposed to be within your work. And you have to adjust the scale width to fit everything. So it's just a matter of just repositioning and scaling everything down to fit exactly the work you're trying to fit here. And that looks really good. And then we'll just do one more duplicate here and bring it to the other side. And perfect. We were able to easily align this. And then what I suggest doing is offsetting some of your animations in your timeline. So not everything comes in at the same exact moment. So when you're done here, one thing I suggest doing, taking everything, right clicking on it and clicking on nest and bring it into its own nest sequence to keep your timeline clean. So with all these techniques combined, you can put together a really cool title animation here inside of Premiere Pro uh, using a handful of these motion graphic techniques. So congratulations on making it to the end of this video. And I will always say you should still do motion graphics, preferably in Adobe After Effects. Uh, but now you should know a few techniques to doing some graphic work here in Premiere as well. So, so I hope you enjoyed the video and always be creative.